There are some who stand right in the center. They would die for it. They probably started the ministry. Now, if an earthquake comes along, a scandal or whatever that impacts the entire industry, there are those who stand in the center, they become like steel. There are those who are close to the center, they move in to give strong support because they know this is a crisis. And if they don't come through, the whole thing can collapse. But the farther the circles move outward, the lessening of the intensity of commitment and loyalty follows until you get to the edge. Those that have just stepped in, they're gone. Those that are on the edge, they've split. Now the pitiful thing is, the growth in an institution doesn't come from the people that are hard and firm and solid at the core. The growth comes from those who are at the edge or outside looking in. That's where the new converts come. That's where the new support comes. That's where the new strength is going to come from. Well, what's happened? Because of the scandals, our growth rate has leveled because the new people aren't joining. And we can expect this problem to go on for about two or three or four years. Nevertheless, look at what the Arbitron ratings show. They still show we have an audience on an average Sunday of 1.6 million. You say, how many people really watch it? Well, some people watch once a month, some twice a month, and some once every six weeks. So you could multiply that 1.6 million by four or five times, I suppose, and say nearly 10 million people watch regularly. We lead all other ministries. Number two is World of Tomorrow, and the others, as you can see, fall down in similar line. At the same time, not only do we have the largest audience, but we are the only television ministry invited to televise regularly throughout the 22 countries of Europe, including Eastern Bloc countries. That started this past February when Rupert Murdoch invited us to be his guest on Sky Channel and now on Eurosport every Sunday morning from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock in, in the main heartland of Europe. You can go to a hotel, you can go to an apartment, and you can tune in Hour of Power from Garden Grove, California, which makes us the first and the only global televised church service in the history of Christian communications. So our popularity, it's diminished. New people that were standing on the edge, they're gone. We're still number one in audience. We're still number one in prestige. We're still number one in global outreach. But at the same time, look what's happened to television airtime costs. In one city, our hometown, Los Angeles, California, between 1984 and 1989, the airtime has tripled. Now, I'm telling you, and you'll agree with me, this ministry must survive. It must survive because no other ministry is so positioned as we are to do the job for Jesus Christ around the world. I want to tell you what I truly believe. I mean, I believe it down to my fingernails and toenails and to the core of every hair on my head. This is what I believe. And I think when you listen to me, you'll agree with me 100%. I do believe that some people will only get religion through television. I do believe that television airtime is going to get more difficult to buy because, you see, there are television stations that really don't want to promote religion. I do believe that the cost of the television airtime that we will be able to buy will continue to rise. And I do believe that no other ministry in the world is so strongly positioned to bring positive religion to the world through television as we are. And I do believe that we'll be able to continue to televise in Europe, even, I believe, in the Soviet Union. Now, that's my belief. This is something that I know. I do know that if we don't televise to the globe, nobody else will. I know 
that in order to keep televising through 1990, we need an increase of income of $5 million. I know, I know that the only way we can raise this extra money is through the Eagles Club. And that's why I'm sending this letter to you this past year. 17,000 people were members of the Eagles Club. That means they gave $500, either in a single gift or $50 a month for 10 months. 3,600 were Golden Eagles. That means they gave a gift of $1,000 a year. Now, to increase our income by $5 million, I cannot increase it by begging for money on national television. The stations would put me off. And many people would be very suspicious because they remember the scandal periods. I can't do it through sending more letters. In fact, we get some letters from you saying, you send me too much mail. So how can we raise the extra five million? Here's how. Our goal is to increase the Eagles Club next year from 17,000 to 20,000. That means if you've been an Eagles Club member this year, please, please, please don't cut out on me now. If you were not planning to give again in 1990, please change your mind. I can't get along without it. For the sake of the millions of people around the globe who get hope and help from this ministry, whose lives will be saved from this ministry, I beg of you, don't cut out on me now, please. We need 3,000 new Eagles Club people if everybody holds the line. Now, will that raise the extra five million? No. We need to double our Golden Eagles Club people. These are people who were giving $500 and they've become Golden Eagles, increasing their gift from 500 to 1,000. Golden Eagles. That means of the 17,000 eagles, 3,500 of them have to move up from 500 to to $1,000 somehow, some way in 1990. The only way I can see our ministry surviving is if members of the Crystal Cathedral Church of the Air will increase their giving until they become members of the Eagles Club. Now, that means you increase your giving to $500, either a one-time gift or $50 a month for 10 months. You know this ministry is a proof of possibility thinking, which is nothing more than biblical faith. If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, Jesus said, you can say to your mountain, move, and it will move. I have faith. Faith is a grain of mustard seed that the mountain of raising an additional five million dollars in 1990 is going to move. And I have faith in you. I believe you too are or you must become a possibility thinker. And that means you do not say no. You do not cut out. You do not think smaller. You do not retreat. We are stepping into a new decade setting ourselves up for a new millennium. Please, step up. Don't step back. Don't step down. Don't step out. Step in and step up to the 1990s. First, make a commitment that you will give as much as you gave in 1989. Now take a step up and have faith that God will make it possible for you somehow, some way, to fulfill that commitment. Move, I beg of you, to help the only ministry that is positioned and poised at the beginning of the decade, at the end of a millennium, the only ministry poised literally to penetrate the globe with a positive healing gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm counting on you. I have no other plans. I have no other options. I have no other choices. Of course, I have a gift for you. You say, you probably should have saved the money. Maybe so. But a year ago, I found this. And we have to plan months and months in advance. It's really a very beautiful gift. Let me show it to you.
solid marble, brilliant green bookends were ordered, designed, created in our own creative arts department. And on each bookend is a strong eagle, wings extended, solid brass. They are gorgeous, they're strong, they're yours forever. I know that you're going to say yes. Yes, somehow, yes, some way, yes, with God's help, I will stand by to keep this positive ministry for the entire globe alive, loving, and lifting people all over the world. And then I'll send you this gift. We have them. It's my joy to give them to you. It's very, very small in proportion to what you do for me. At the same time, I, I have a little selfish reason. I know that you'll look at these bookends, and when you look at them, you'll remember me, and when you remember me, you'll pray for me, and your prayers for me. And that's what gives me strength and courage and continued integrity. With this video letter, there is a letter that you can mail back to me. Send it today. And now, may God bless you where you need the blessing most. I've shared my problem, <laughs> my opportunity with you. And I pray for you that God who knows you better than I, and God who knows your problems better than you do, will give you the blessing you need in 1990. If it's healing from cancer or sickness, May he lead you to the sources and forces of healing that he knows about, that no one else knows about. If it's for broken relationships, whatever it is. If it's for financial prosperity, whatever it is. May God bless you too. I'm praying for you. We do love each other. <laughs> and that's the truth. Thank you. Answer me now. Write to me today. Robert Schuler, Garden Grove, California. Or call the toll-free number. You might want to write it down. The lines, I hope, will be very, very busy for hours. After all, I'm looking for about 20,000 telephone calls. The number is 1-800-955-9090. That's 1-800-955-9090. Thank you. God loves you. So do I.